multiple times, his harassing out with a remnant, using the resonant pulse to push out the wave, or he's always got the orb to fall back to and the waning rift to kind of dance around, get a good silence out. Range advantage is great for the park early on. Right clicks do feel good until that physical shield of the pulse is up, but it's not too much to hold him back and should be relatively even in farm. I think rune control is the big one that defines this lane. Whoever gets their bottle topped up more frequently is going to have a better time. And when it comes down to support rotations, it's pretty even. I would give an edge to Navi just because Sky and Clockwork are very effective rotators in comparison to just the tiny alone. You're not going to expect Fitro to really rotate in as a warlock here. The uh, the top lane as well here, John. Uh, v Tune and Solo going to be against the Boca and XXS. Now, this is a very kind of kill on oriented lane, I feel. Especially for Asta. Like, you land that Avalanche Toss into a couple of soul assumptions, that's going to be very easy kills to come out and. You can already see Solo kind of copying it here on the clockwork. The team's just kind of sitting back and trying to secure their own farm here in these lanes. Top of the CS board right now is going to be no one on that Void Spirit. is having a very good time in that mid lane against the puck. And it does really just go back to the hero matchup as the Void Spirit. You are just going to have that inherent advantage with the, the higher base damage. And see the other uh, physical right clicks against Ori on that puck. Kind of hard for Ori to, to time these CS against the Void Spirit. I mean, he's just got such a great attack animation as well on the Void, and it, it's just very challenging to, to try and really get the advantage in the CS war. It's a pretty... She's actually going to land onto Vichun. A toss back as well, barely catching the Razor, but do they have the follow-up damage? Sans is there, onto no one, and well, they just blow up Ori. No messing around from Na'Vi, just very fast rotations as the Boca. It'll be the second of four here. Asta is kind of overextending, but Na'Vi with some very fast rotations. has been killed. Again, they've, they've got the sixes up, so they can just keep Radiant's playing. They don't even have the hook shot attack. up yet, but it's not. Chrono commitment from Monet. He is working towards the BKB. They catch Solo out. They have. Solo was the uh, the one trying to get the fight started, actually, John. But against the Visage, you really can't do too much. And in the meantime, <laughs> Bichu ends up going down towards the south as Monet does end up committing Chrono along with Ori's Dream Coil, I believe. And well, they do secure a very valuable kill Radiant's here against Na'Vi. Like, they're not done yet. Smoke out here with Baboka and Ori. We'll see if they can find another, and they may just. Sweet and strong. Humble's Toy will be there to save the day, just barely. He's gonna be alright. But now Asta, they're looking towards that mid-tier 1 tower. And he needs to get a little push going in with your own. Oh, it's Mystic Flare with the Drag Tail combination. Very quick work of the Boker, and now the jump in from No One into the hook shot of Solo. They'll find another. That they even found Ori on the front, but can they lock him down? It doesn't seem like it. He'll be fine. Just drawn his way out. Still two kills to go the way of Na'Vi, and they do put a halt to the, the push that was incoming on that tier 1 mid. Yeah, I mean, again, they've got so much mobility just with that blink on hand. Mid lane is being pinged out as the hook shot is going to be there. Solo, a nice setup into the Mystic Flare, and that should be enough. Got to be one. Vanished. This is kind of the problem, John. That's a plus four tiny you're taking down, and you are delaying the blink. You kind of watch the commitment for that kill. It, it does kind of concern you, because how are you going to get that done in the middle of a big team fight? Make the jump in again, this time around finding the void, but do they have the follow off damage with the Ancient Seal? Perhaps they do, and in fact they do. Na'Vi, the aggressive, and it's paying off. Such Never mind what I said, John. They've got the control. Yep. We managed to chop down Monet, just getting a little bit greedy farming that triangle while the rest of Na'Vi was on that low ground, one thing nearby on the tier one. Not respecting that mobility coming out from Na'Vi. And it does put Navi back in the driver's seat. 60 11, 3k lead still palpable here for Navi as they jump for more, but not gonna have a range, although. No one will go for it. What? Around. What about 8 the room at Connector? The Green Coil is there onto the Dragon Knight. Avalanche is out as well, so they've got the control here for Lace, and eventually they should have the kill. We're gonna need a replay of that. I, I did not catch what the 8th room got caught on there. Was it a creep? It, it didn't feel like the angle was there. The fight, it seems. Let's find a way in. See the visage. One does pop the double damage rune, so he's ready to go. Asta, they're not gonna give the opening. Hold the high ground of that triangle and just... Not allow Na'Vi the, the opening they want to initiate. RV, they are still sticking around, Radiant's but XXS certainly attack. baiting here on the Visage, and RV, they are not taking that bait. Yeah, they're... Eh, 
just playing it safe and getting what they can. And they did have to expend her double damage rune, so no one's not gonna have that for the next fight. And Aster wants to smoke up now. And it's off! It's not again. Plenty of team fight spells to throw out. Sweet and strong, in position to break the smoke and won't do so. And can seal out the provoker. He does blink away, doesn't need a good time. It's now the coil. He's gonna catch two of them. They've got Sweet and Strong down to start with, and they've even caught out Lacey on the Dragon Knight. And he has done to fly out as well. Provoker, tossing him back. I'll secure the kill. This little play there from Asta. They do know Roche is happening. Take the fight though. I haven't put their Dragonite in front of the tent, but they should have the time attack to beat you. Does get caught out. He'll pop his DKB immediately on to XX as he goes. Trying for the fish for the snowform is there and now the Chrono. Mane right in. No one. He's going to try and help out. The hookshot is there, but the Golem drop is perfect. Onto the Razor feature. Gone. Onto the Clockwork. Or even find Solo. At least no one. He does manage to pick off Ori in the middle of all this chaos, but it's not a great trade at all for Na'Vi. They continue to run, but XXS continues to chase. The land is stunned, onto the Void Spirit, and now Mamoka. Actually missed the Avalanche, but it won't matter too much. Not quite yet, though, no one. Still fighting. In comes Mane. Back onto Lace and Mamoka. Somehow still alive. He's gonna make it out as Lace. Not so lucky himself on the Dragon Knight. Should go down and does do so. XXS able to secure the kill on Asta. The very clean team fight. Only losing Ori on that mid path, but. Trading off those three heroes for that, you've got to be happy if you ask them. FNBR opens up Roshan in a huge way. That last fight, pretty topsy-turvy. Great upheaval coming out from Petrol, of course, you oh. know. Holding back Vitrine from retreating, holding back Flopper from getting an angle away. Now, upheaval, man, it's a great spell. John, no, no, he's going to try, but the angle is just way off. But he he kind of wanted to be the smart guy. Even that's just like, against some KBs, it's just not enough. It, it can't worry. It'll be a great pick off to get, but they might lose Lace in the process. The BKB is there on the Dragon Knight, and in fact, he's going to be just fine. So here comes the rest of Aster to try and force this fight as Na'Vi. Trying to back off. Mane will make an aggressive jump here, but this could be dangerous. So he's feeling confident with his own BKB to go for the fight, but he time will drive back out, run, rewinding right back in. The boat gun, he's there with the Avalanche Toss combination. That'll be Lace gone. A one for one so far. And make that a one for two, because they did lose the war on no one. It's another jump in on for this, but now a big chrono. But they he found two targets, but where's the follow-up damage? They've got the Skyrim face now on to B2 they go with XXS. He's in trouble now in the visage. He'll go into that stone fall, but now Mane falling rather low does go down with the Aegis as B2. He'll just keep the fight going. On to XXS, the visage still trying to run. Mane trying to help him out as they found B2 on the razor. He'll go for a run, but surely doesn't make it out. He's still trying though, but the bashes are coming in from Mane. On the solo they go, they want the clockwork to boot. And never mind him, they've got a dream coil. On to no one. The Void Spirit is going to drop his ass start. He's able to sustain constantly throughout the team fight. And Solo, I mean, he's still trying to run, but Mane, he sniffed him out. And Solo, oh, they're not going to make it. And it does its job if it does get committed on. Great scan here, yeah, Asta. They know exactly where they are with the hook shot. Solo going to try and initiate the fight as Ori. He's been caught out. The puck in big trouble. Already going down to Na'Vi. They're off to a great start, but a big goal and drop into the fatal bonds now. This could be the turnaround as Mane makes the jump in, but doesn't go for the chrono quite yet. He'll hold down and wait out for the right moment as XXS. He'll keep moving forward, but Na'Vi, they will split up. Mane still threatening with that chrono, but not deciding to throw it. Oh, never mind B-Tune, he gets caught and now the Chrono! Oh, they've caught B-Tune and no one, both together! No one, he jumped right into it! He'll try to run now, but Mane, right on his tail. Do the actual step, and TP oh. is gonna be just fine. Mane will not be able to get the bashes off. Or solo on the run. Mane knows he's around somewhere. We have TP and Tempa for both guns. What Roshan do you want the defense? Well, they're gonna try for Roshan first. Asta, are they committed for this push? Zip their love, they're gonna make their way back to Roshan bit ASAP. It's a big deal to lose this Roshan if you are Asta right now. Navi, they are gonna be squatting in the pit. Asta, they will make it in time to defend. They have the low ground, it's a bit of an awkward position for them. 
vision. Also being taken out here by XXS, so no one is going to try and make the jump in while he does have that information. They don't have the damage to burst down the visage. XXS just fine. The avalanche is there on the Sweden Strong and now Ori is going to make the jump in. Manane getting tossed out of there. He was having a perfect run opportunity, but now the golden drop is perfect on the four heroes. Where are they going? Two down for Navi already. The focus is on Ori, but what a throw out from Manane. On the three heroes, a great hook shot, but it's not going to matter. Oh, they get wiped. GG. I'll be frank, John, if I got crowned like that, I'd call GG as well. It's not fun. Yeah, that's clockwork. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit dicey uh, to try and deal with that. Monet is also not the most durable here. It doesn't have the point in the refraction, although clockwork can kind of rip through that. Uh, an important kill for Navi to find is in their lineup kind of has some awkward tempo coming out here. So getting as much as they can out of lanes helps to offset that just a little bit and, you know, accelerate that timing into the Ags or Lays. And of, of course, the level 6 for Sol can be important there as well. So we'll see how much more money can get. He's still farming up well. I think you're more than happy to sacrifice the Disruptor for your TA to keep farming there. The bee tune here on the gyrocopter. He might have a go here on XXS. The missile is going to land, and it's going to be quite a bit of harassment to fly out onto the Night Stalker. Bee tune not going to dive too deep. The Aster is starting to go for the smoke play with Ori up. They do have that blink up in the tiny, so they want to make some plays with it. They've got level six up on Pichu as well. The static storm is ready. They managed to find the angle. Even the Dark Ascension is set to go. No, they've, they've got. They just need to find the angle here. Jump in, and they've got the puck now. Arthur's there. Do they have enough damage though? The fairy fire might just buy enough time, but not quite. That V tune. That's one thing you've got to remember, John. You are up against a disruptor. He's gonna relocate. Despite this break and farm, both sides are managing to keep up pace with each other quite nicely here, Mike. And that just builds up the tension. At some point, something's got to give. Nastra's looking for that smell on top of it. Yeah, XXS has the been caught. A lot of Pukshot is there, and even the relocate just to make sure they secure the kill. In fact, they want to try and move into that top tier 2 tower, but Solo needs to back off. A wild dream core has been committed and has found two supports, or at least two, well, one support, one mid laner, and no one. Oh, three and the black hole. Oh boy, they go a bit too far here. Avalanche is out to disengage for Aster, and they've seen enough. They've got enough as well. They'll be happy with that trade. So close yet so far for Na'Vi. It still force the team fight though if they really want to. I don't think it's the greatest idea here for Na'Vi. We'll just hold the triangle instead. Just keep getting that build up. v about to have his Ags now. All the gold on hand, so a bit of a spike here for the Gyrocopter. You can feel a lot better in the middle of these fights as well. So under smoke here for Lay. Up in, Ori is there on the beach with a very nice toss back. Getting him away from that gyro, or rather Ayo, but there's a reload team. Make sure Bichu gets out of there and he's gonna be just fine as Ori. Now caught out by no one. They can try to go for the counter initiation and they will. Solo is there. The glimpse pack is out as well. Now the puck in trouble as XXS will chase him down, but here comes Bichu once again on the gyrocopter. Cavalry is back. They don't find anyone quite yet. XXS will heal himself up with the shards. RV trying to find themselves a target, but everyone's just leaving the area of Solo. Oh, he's barely going to catch Ori out, but a massive static storm now from that disruptor, holding everyone down, but it won't matter. They still find the two. Ready to go, RV. They might find XXS. Solo, he's got the hook shot to set up, but no one. He'll be the one to commit the dream coil to try and set this team fight up. Is the relocate even going to be there from Na'Vi? No messing around. They commit all the ways. In fact, they found Mane. They've got the TA held down and they'll take him out. Gonna be the first line. The Boca wants to go for the black hole, but he's down. He did not catch place out in it. So Asta. <laughs> a very rushed kind of team fight attempt and Na'Vi, they take full advantage. That, that, that was rough for Master, forcing the issue way too hard and Na'Vi just finding a chance of dying on this gyro so far. Shoot with that satanic up, the IO right behind him. Yeah, relocate, 
back into the dive triangle Tori again being caught out this time by Solo and he does get taken down in fact Green Cool is there as well the Boca he's not gonna make it out either he just has to accept the fact that he is gonna die Navi they are really playing this Ira Jarakov the combo very very well Radiance bottom they, they've just is under attack. They just know when to come in with a relocate with the itemization. V2 now it's very low risk to actually commit. And they just play super Radiant aggressive. They go for a bit of a slower start and once the ball gets rolling, answer just doesn't have counterplay. Like, I, I just don't know what you do with a support hero. Like you do have the black hole static storm, and we did see that in a big moment Radiant's before for Aster, but we haven't seen enough time to allow him to back off as Navi. Smoke up and trying to back off, but now Eclipse is there B tune. He gets caught out. He's the big target, but he's got a satanic if he needs it. A nice swap out from Lace by more time for B tune. The fight continues as V tune now. He can turn right back around with the life steal. It goes the call down. Lace, he's dropping low, but here comes the cavalry solo. What a great hook shot. They'll go for the black hole out, but it's only caught the vengeful spirit. It's not good enough from Asta. They are falling left, right, and center as they'll commit the buyback on Ori. Trying to go after Sweden strong with the IO. Still not dying. Eventually does go down, but what does it matter? It's a dieback on the tiny. Another rough team fight here for Asta. Now they do get a two for two trade if you count the buyback of the tiny, John, but keep going as Ori. Take the jump in. Prospect is there on the lace, but this is going to be a big call now to come in. Still the static storm. Ball's also committed, and now the dream coil. Going to catch a couple of them. But not enough to make the jump in. Navi. They just want the top lane of barracks. And it seems like that's going to be enough for them. They'll walk right out afterwards. Lace. Ooh. Is that a glimpse back on the uh, a swap on the glimpse back? No, he swapped first. He swapped first, then he got one. So he, he anticipated it. Well. Lace. That he did, so I'm gonna save me. Mori, nice toss back. They might be able to find the first life on the gyrocopter. Major dropping low and does go down. That's one life. Can you get it the second time? No one will make the jump in, but back right back off. There's, there's a swap out. He can still fly as now the stunts fly in. A big static storm, but really finding no one has been through. He does go down. Now the black hole out. But Boca, he'll catch two of them. And Asta somehow taking the team fight, wiping out Narvi. That's an ultra kill for Manet. They'd love a rampage if they can find it. Sweet and strong. He's been caught out. The glimpse back and look at this, John. Look at the teamwork. Go away for the rampage. Oh, <laughs> How does that happen, Jonathan? How do they make that team fight work? It's just the toss back. Yeah. The way of Asta all of a sudden. Yeah, that's it's quite the roller coaster we're seeing here. Um, it's still in Navi's favor, despite all of that. Still have a 63% chance of winning their two racks ahead. They just have to knock this last racks down. Oh, make creeps and they will try again without Aegis. Risky. They, they really have to be disciplined about that toss from Ori that can come out here. Okay, gonna try one more time, but Ori, he's in. Nice swap out this time from Lace, not allowing the toss back as no one. They jump in on the park, but they'll lose Lace. For the first life, at least. He has the remnant, though. Walking back in the day, and the big stun out. He calls two of them. Solo with the hook shot now. The nice toss away from Ori. Still, Mane being trapped up and stunned up constantly is gonna go down. Go by back. Try one last time here, Asta. RV not backing off. They'll go right after that tier 3 bottom tower. They even found the Night Stalker in the tree line, but they completely ignore XXS. They just want the objectives. Swap out again from Lace. Onto the TA, but Mane is still fine. Each tune again. A man of business, Jonathan. Only objectives for him. No one, however. He goes in with the Dream Coil for Beachy, just completely ignoring them. Back never mind. Now with the magic missiles flying out, he can get the damage out. Or he's gone. But Boca's gone on the name. He's probably gone as well. So I'll call the GG and Asta. Forgot their first game as the group stage here to Narvi. I'll tell you 